All right, we got a couple flat heads here to dress. I'm gonna show y'all real quick how we dress a flat head. We put this in some of our other videos. I'm gonna do this two different ways. I'm gonna skin one of them and I'll just fillet the other one. We're gonna end up with the same results. But I'll show y'all. Used to, we just come, let me swap sides. Used to, we would just come right in there. There's a little bone right there. If you just grab that and break it, you get that skin started right there. Same thing right there behind that gill plate. There's that little bone. Just grab it with them skinners. And I always just kind of grab it and pry right there. Come right across the top. Like that. And you can do this a couple different ways. You can score this up here. Or you can just grab it down there and just yank it up. You can also just kind of run your fingers up in under that skin, break all that loose right there, and then it'll just pull, pull right off like that. Pry it across like that. Once you get that done, just grab it back here on that skin, start peeling him down like that. gonna see why we fillet a lot of them now you don't get near as messy doing it but if you don't have a fillet knife you got a pair of skinners and you need to clean a flat head pretty easy way right there all right we're gonna pretend we don't have electricity <laughs> we need to get this flat head clean when you when you go in there beside that backbone you can actually Hear the tip of that knife hitting them, the base of them ribs in there. And you can just come on down and get that fillet started on both sides with that flat head just laying there like that. Both sides of that backbone. I like to just kind of go as deep as I can. And then I'll come over here. And you can feel them ribs right in there. I'm just coming right behind them ribs. Right back here. Like that. I'm not going to do this super fast so y'all can see what I'm doing. Once you do that, then you can just kind of cut this loose up here. You already cut down into them ribs. Then you just slide that knife right in there. Take that fillet off right there. Don't want to forget the belly meat. So we will come up here. Just make a cut right behind this gill plate. Split it up the middle. Just take it right off of them ribs right there. Like that. There's your belly meat. Take this other one off. Same thing, make a cut up there. Come in here, there's your ribs right there. Make that cut. I like to get it where I can grab it right there. Slide that knife right in there on that backbone. Take the fillet off. Just like that. All right, we got our other flat head here. This is the way I dress most of them now. I start out with that electric fillet knife. Taking that fin off right there. Then I come in here behind the gill plate. On both sides. Split the belly open. 
all the way down to the backbone. Turn that fillet knife go right through them ribs. Now you'll see why I don't uh, hang and skin a lot of them anymore. Like I said, I showed you both ways. So in case you don't have electric fillet knife with you, you need to dress one. Yeah, you out there camping, you ain't got no electricity. You might have to hang one and dress him now. One thing I like to do since we're going to trim the red meat off of these is don't go so deep against the skin if possible. Sometimes I'll get down there, but sometimes I can hit it pretty good. See how I took a lot of that red meat off right there with that electric fillet knife. Go ahead and get this one that far, get the skin off of it. I always just make me a little mark, got me a little finger hole right there. That's a whole lot easier than pulling and all on that skin. All right, I always come in here, do this with electric fillet knife or you can do it with a regular knife. I'll do it with a regular knife because it's a lot quieter for the video, but normally I just hit that with that fillet knife. Come in there and cut them ribs out. Trim that fat right there off. Now we'll take these ribs out. These ribs, you got to watch these ribs on these flatheads. They, they go back a good ways. So you got to get them out of there. And we'll go ahead and trim this one out and show you how we do that real quick. Just going there on that lateral line. I leave that knife at an angle both ways. You see how I'm turning it. And it takes that a notch like section of that red meat out of there. You can see I got all that red meat. Just flip it over. One this small, really, you ain't got to worry about that. That's fine right there. We're just going to cut that up. If he's much bigger than this, we'll trim all that off. But... You ain't got to on these small ones. Cut that in steaks across the grain right there. That's ready to cook. These belly meats, a little bit of fat down there on that end, I cut that off. That's where that gall busted a little bit on that one. I'll trim that off. Make sure we ain't got nothing come in here just make us little steaks about half inch thick right there out of that belly meat then it's gonna fry up good you see that fat line right there we'll take that out
see right there I missed just a little bit there always just come back in there and take it off if I miss a little bit now it's getting a little bit dull but we're gonna make it cut it up in stakes like I said in some of our other videos, I always cut it across the grain on this. You can cut it up however you want. That's how I do it. That's ready to cook. Well, hopefully y'all learned a little bit from the fish cleaning video. Appreciate all the likes and shares. Subscribe if you hadn't to the channel already. That's going to be it for this one. God's Country Hunting and Fishing. Keeping it real.